डॉट ओके अ डॉट इज जीरो डायमेंशन इट डज नॉट सिमिलरली स्मॉल डॉट या इफ वी कनेक्ट इनफिनिट नंबर ऑफ लाइंस टुगेदर इनफिनिट नंबर ऑफ लाइंस टुगेदर वी स्टैक इनफिनिट नंबर ऑफ लाइंस टुगेदर देन व्हाट वी गॉट लेंथ 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 एंड वी स्टैक टुगेदर नाउ वी हैव लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ वी हैव ब्रेथ वी स्टैक टुगेदर लॉट ऑफ टू डायमेंशनल प्लेन्स ओके नाउ वी हैव वी हैव लेंथ वी हैव ब्रेथ and now we have height and we can observe the projection of four dimensional object in this three dimensional world okay so so what that projection looks like it's called tesseract so hello guys hello hello welcome to our shortcast and what are we discussing about today today like let's uh, i'm with my pen i'm with my diary so let's do fourth dimension okay let's do the fourth dimension one yeah. of the interesting topic of all the time Okay, let's start. Like, okay, just teach four dimension as you would teach uh, to a grade ten students. Grade ten students, it it must be simple. It must be very simple. It's okay. like one of the complex things, I know, but it should be very simple in this video. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, let's begin. So, to understand four dimension, we should go step by step. From, okay from zero dimension 1 0 1 2 3 4 you will yeah. write so first what is zero dimension okay zero dimension is a dot a dot okay a dot is zero dimension it is infinite similarly small dot yeah, right it's infinite similarly small dot like in my diary i'll show you a dot okay is a dot and you can see the dot yeah This is zero dimensional dot. It doesn't have length. It doesn't have breadth. It doesn't, it doesn't have, height, have height. It doesn't have anything. Anything. <laughs> so it's a dot and it's zero dimensional object. Okay. Now dot is zero dimensional. Okay. Now if we connect infinite number of dots together. Okay. If we connect infinite number of dots together, what we get? Line. Yeah, we get a line, and yeah. line has length. Yeah. And it is one dimensional object. It doesn't have breadth. It, it doesn't, doesn't have height. height. It doesn't have anything. Anything else. Okay. So line has length okay. and when we connected infinite number of zero dimensions together we got one dimensional object. Okay. okay? Got it. Now what we do is like this is a, this is a line right? This yeah. is a, this, this is a line. line. Yeah. So if we connect infinite number of lines together infinite number of lines together we stacked infinite number of lines together then what we got length 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 and we stack together now we have length and breadth we have breadth okay how many dimensions length breadth two dimension two dimensions okay. now this flat plane okay this flat plane is two dimensional object okay yeah yeah got we are going got easy it. okay so now what we do is now what if the two dimensional planes we have two dimensional plane now what if we we get something we stack together we stack together lot of two dimensional planes okay now we have we have length we have breadth and now we have height as well okay so this is like this is the height height okay okay now we have length and breadth and height now what okay. does it become it becomes a three dimensional three dimensional object okay okay now see how what we did is first we we had a zero dimensional object dot we stacked together infinite number of zero dimensional dots we got a line and we got a one dimensional object yeah and then what we did is we stacked infinite number of one dimensional object okay and we got this flat plane this is okay. two dimensional object yeah now what we did is we we stacked infinite number of two dimensions together infinite number of papers and we got the height and we got the height so now it become three dimensional object okay now when we come to fourth dimension now what we do is we already have length breadth and height okay now what we do is in a direction in a direction perpendicular to all three all the three dimensions now when we stack together when we stack together all three dimensional like infinite number of three dimensional objects together okay 
when we stack together the infinite number of three dimensional objects okay together then we get the fourth dimension oh yeah similarly like what we got from the when we connected the infinite number of dots, dots together we got we one got line, line. And, and when we like stack together infinite number of so similarly if we like so stack infinite number thing, of one more thing we need to understand is the ortho orthogonality okay we we should understand how things are getting stacked okay okay, okay. so first we had a dot yeah you had a dot we had a dot okay, okay. now what we did is we connected infinite number of dots together in one direction yeah in in one direction okay this way and yeah and this was one direction now we we opt we got one dimensional line now mm -hmm. we stack together lines in a direction perpendicular to to the direction where we had stacked the dots okay, okay. in the perpendicular direction like this direction i will show you the figure we stack together in a perpendicular direction and we got the area the surface area yeah, and yeah. that is two dimensional that is two dimensional now what we did is the third thing that we did is we stack together all the two dimensional planes in the direction perpendicular to these two axes okay in and the then third, we got the like three dimensional this was this was the first direction where we stacked the dots and then this was the second direction where we stacked the lines yeah and then this was the third direction where we stacked the two dimensional objects yeah now if the three dimensional objects are stacked together in a direction perpendicular to in a direction perpendicular to this this and this okay. then we ob then we we obtain then we reach to a four dimensional object so four dimensional object cannot be perceived like directly as four dimension so what we have done we will show you here in the figure i will show you here like we we don't directly absorb the four dimensional object but we can absorb the projection of four dimensional object in this three dimensional world okay so so what that projection looks like it's called tesseract okay it's called tesseract it's it's a projection of four dimensional hypercube okay 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 got so it. and this looks like this just like we have shown in the figure and you also this is the thing and what happens is this is not too clear so this is the four dimensional object okay okay got it now we we will talk about the axis axis okay let's talk okay now let's, let's talk. talk about the axis so can we travel to higher dimensions and how many dimensions are we capable of traveling to okay okay when you talk about zero dimensions hmm. it's very similar to you are your car getting stuck in traffic where it can't move forward it can't move backward left right anywhere so it's like stuck from there it's stuck from here it can't move in any way like you yeah. get just stuck so so the car has got zero dimensional zero dimension. axis okay. in that situation it can't move in any direction okay, okay. so the when we go to one dimension just imagine a uh, Uh, you know you have seen the circus like circus holding a stick and moving on a rope yeah 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 so in that case the actor has access to move in only forward and, and backward. backward direction forward and backward only yeah forward. if he goes left he'll fall if he goes right he'll and fall fall so he can't go up he has access in just one dimension okay, okay. so that is one dimensional access okay now when you talk about a paper Here is a paper, piece of paper, and an ant moving around. Actually, an ant with zero height. Yeah, an ant with zero height. Good. Zero height, like He's nothing. going technical, guys. Very technical. Okay. So, if an ant is moving on this paper, then okay. it will have access to move forward direction, just like the the man on the rope, okay. and one extra dimension perpendicular to that. rope okay yeah. so it can move forward backward and left and right yeah okay so the ant has got two dimensional axis okay okay now talking about the third dimension we let's go to the children park okay okay in children park you see children can move in forward backward direction yeah left right direction plus an additional direction which is perpendicular to the that flat area okay okay that is height 
Yeah, they go to the ladder and then yeah, they, they go to the ladder. They come down, down with the slide. Yeah. Yeah. So, so in that case, the the children have got. So that means like our world, the world that we are accessing is a three-dimensional yeah. world, and we have access to three dimensions, yeah, similar we, to children, right? Yeah, we can because go. I can jump. Yeah. Because I, it's like I can go forward and then backward, mm. left, right, and then I can jump and then dig down and then maybe yeah, get down. Yeah. So you, we have three-dimensional access. So talking about the fourth dimensional axis we are just talking about space okay so okay. if we have if we have an axis if we have an axis to move in a direction perpendicular to all three axes like perpendicular to just like perpendicular to the flat paper was height okay yeah 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 perpendicular to the length was breadth yeah. so if we have access to move in a direction which is perpendicular to bo- to x axis y axis and z axis all yeah. three axis then that is the access to the fourth spatial dimension okay but uh, we can't directly perceive it right yeah we can't directly perceive but w- it. W- 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 what we can do then so since we can't perceive it directly what we can do is we can we can analyze its projection in this three dimensional world just like this t- tesseract this tesseract <laughs> you can't see it uh, i know which picture i'm going to keep here so like this tesseract has is a four dimensional body but we are observing it as a projection in three dimensional space and right now you are watching it in a two dimensional screen <laughs> okay so that is all about the fourth dimension when we uh, are very much in the surface and i hope i try to make it very simple yeah you made it simple but actually fourth dimension is a very very complex topic but still like it was graspable to me uh, i hope it was also graspable to the audience out there yeah and so this is all about the fourth dimensional space so if you want us to speak or like discuss in any topic any topic about physics then please do comment and we will try to cover it yeah we'll cover it thank you, thank so, you much. so much and if you like the concept please do like and please do subscribe our channel thank you so much bye bye guys